Hi guys, my name is Lily, aka Fubizoo. I'm a knitwear designer and fiber artist, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these super cute leg warmers with the Centro Knitting Machine. This is a super easy tutorial and can be done in a few hours. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. All right, so for this tutorial, all you're gonna need is a 48 stitch Centro Knitting Machine, 250 grams of DK weight yarn. I'm using the yarn that I sell in my shop at fubizoo.co. You're also gonna need scissors, a darning needle, a 4.5 millimeter crochet, shade hook a tape measure and stitch markers don't worry if you don't have everything you can figure out and make it work it's gonna be super easy guys we got this I'm on my perfectly round circular carpet which feels like a cute little place to sit and so this is what we're gonna be making today some really cute thigh high like leg warmer type situation this is a tutorial but it's also gonna be like maybe a little bit more fun than a tutorial so even if you don't want to make this you might want to watch but so we're gonna make these cute little thigh highs and we're gonna be using these colors so I have light pink, fuchsia, red, and I want a little cream for some reason, I'm just feeling it. I want this to match my bow top so I can sort of like make a cute little three piece set. I might make a skirt too, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. As always, we're gonna start by casting on with our waist yarn. I have this acrylic yarn. Also, unfortunately, I am wearing my Invisalign now, so I might have a list. But for this project, I want my panel to be 19 inches wide for my thigh width. So I'm gonna cast on 42 stitches, which is gonna be stitches three through 40. Okay, just cast it on stitches three through 45, and I'm gonna do 15 rows of my waist yarn. Okay, so I just finished my waist yarn rows. I'm just gonna take this yarn out of the threader, and we're gonna start with our body yarn. So I think I'm gonna start with my light pink here. To switch out colors, all you need to do is put the yarn through the threader, and just make sure it gets picked up by this first hook here. So you're gonna wanna hold on to the new yarn and the waist yarn and add some tension. And then you're just gonna crank that. And as you can see, it got pulled by those hooks and that's literally it. So I'm gonna tie these two ends together just for a little bit more security. And yeah, so now we're just gonna finish this row with the body yarn. I like to keep it really simple. I'm gonna just do 132 rows of my body yarn. I'm gonna switch out colors as I go. Feel free to do the same. I just showed you how to do it, so now you know. And yeah, so you're just gonna literally do 42 stitches for 132 rows, and I'll meet you back to do the waist yarn. So I just finished 132 rows, and I'm gonna take this body yarn out of the threader and I'm gonna do 15 more rows of my waist yarn. So just do 15 more rows of waist yarn and then we're gonna pull this bad boy off the machine. Okay, so I just finished my 15 rows of waist yarn. So you're just gonna cut it and take it out of the threader and all you're gonna do is turn it twice. Okay guys, so that is the first panel done. So now you're just gonna do the exact same thing and create a second panel. So you're gonna do 42 stitches on the panel setting for 132 rows. And then once you have two panels, I'll meet you back here. All right, we got our two pieces and now we're gonna remove the waist yarn. So now we're gonna remove the waist yarn. And if you've seen any of my other tutorials, you pretty much know the drill, but for those who haven't, um, I'm gonna start off by untying that little knot I tied between the body yarn and the waist yarn. And then you're gonna grab your crochet hook and put it in that first loop right here, the first loop of your body work. And then you're gonna pull the same color of yarn through that first loop. And um, I'm gonna tie these two ends together because as you can see, it kind of wants to come undone. And then all you're gonna do is um, stick your hook through that first loop, pull through, chain one and then insert a half double crochet into that loop so when you remove the waist yarn all you're doing is securing the body work with half double crochets so you're just going to put a half double crochet in each of these final loops and then the body piece will be secure There's a little like starting loop here at the end and you're also gonna wanna put a half double crochet in that one as well. And then you're just gonna chain one and cut your work. All you have to do now that this edge is totally secure is just unwind this acrylic waist yarn. 
that's literally it so now you have a finished edge that looks super super clean and so your next step is to just do that on all four of the waist yarn sections of your two panels and i'll meet you back here now we are going to do line the like the length of each panel with a row of half double crochets so you're gonna just line um, the left and right side of the panels with a row of half double crochets. I'm gonna use the fuchsia color for this. Um, my bow top, I have a red like cutout, but I'm feeling fuchsia right now. So yeah, just gonna do a row of half double crochets. Just a status update. So this is what we're working with. As you can see, I just have this like row of half double crochets. Just gonna finish the edges off and then create nice places for our cords to go. So yeah, keep doing that and I'll meet you in a second. So I have the edges of both pieces lined with the half double crochets, which you cannot really see right now, but now I'm gonna show you how to make the cord that we'll use to tie into cute little bows. We are gonna be making 28 of these cord ties and I'll show you how to do it now. So grab your 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and we want each cord to be seven inches long. So here's how it works. You're going to measure seven inches of length of your yarn. So this is about seven inches right here. And you're basically gonna multiply that by four and create a, a length of yarn that's gonna be four times seven. And that's four. So now you have this long end here and you're just gonna do a slip knot, classic, and stick your little hook in and you're just going to wrap the end, like that's not attached to the yarn, the loose end, around your hook like that. And then you're just gonna pull through. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Pull through, wrap around, pull through. Wrap around, pull through. And as you can see, it creates this like really nice cord. So you're just gonna do that until this is seven inches long. For me, that ended up being 37 stitches. Okay, so this is seven inches long and then all you're gonna do is nip your working yarn end off. And then you're just gonna pull through the working yarn through that loop and fasten off. And then we're gonna use like both of these ends to tie onto our half double crochet lining of the leg warmers. So I just made one. You're gonna make 28 total of these tie cords and I will meet you back here. Okay, so I have all 28 of my ties and now we're gonna tie them to our leg warmers. So I have my leg warmer here and basically I attach little stitch markers every 3.5 inches. So we're gonna have seven ties on both sides. So I just got my handy dandy tape measure and then you start with one at the top because that's gonna close it around your thigh and keep it up. And then you're just gonna measure 3.5 inches and then put a stitch marker 3.5 inches Put another stitch marker so on and so forth until you have seven and then the bottom is going to have um it's not going to tie a close at the bottom it's going to be open i just think that will look nicer so then at the end it'll be like um 3.5 inches but no final stitch marker so a total of seven stitch markers i already did the ruffles at the end so don't that's a spoiler so you're gonna pull the left leg of your tie from the inside going out of one of your marked half double crochets, just pull that tail through and then you're just gonna tie it so that the tie is on the inside. So that's why you have to, I mean, don't, don't overthink it. You're just attaching these with a little knot, but um, that's just a way to do it so that the tie is on the inside and then just do two knots and we're gonna weave in these ends So that will keep it super secure 
but now I have two ties on my leg warmer and you're gonna just do that for both sides of both leg warmers. So a total of 28 ties are gonna go into this bad boy. And yeah, you got this. Make sure that both sides line up as well, obviously, um, but don't overthink it. Okay, you got this. Quick change of plan. So you are gonna make 24 ties that are seven inches long and two ties that are the circumference of your thigh plus 14 inches. So for me, that would be 33 inches. So I have 19 inch thighs because those ties are just gonna tie around your whole thigh and it's gonna keep your thigh highs up better. So I'll meet you back when I've done the 19 inches plus 14 inch tie for my thigh. Okay, so I just finished my 33 inch tie. You're gonna need two of those. And then to fasten your tie in your leg warmer, all you're gonna do is just weave it through the little spaces here at the top of your bind off. Super simple. I'm weaving it through every single space. And yeah, so all you're gonna do is just weave it through every single space and then you'll have a tie that you can tie. All right, just finished weaving that in and then you'll be able to tie it around your thigh like so. So you're just gonna finish adding the ties um, to both sides of both leg warmers and then add the top tie like I showed you and then I'll meet you guys back to do the ruffles. Okay, I just finished attaching all of my little ties. I also weaved in the ends cause I just like to get ahead of that. Cause that's like the worst part. Um, and now is the super fun part. So we're gonna create this little ruffle at the top and bottom of both panels. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's so easy. So with the right side of her panel facing you, you're just gonna attach um, your yarn color of choice. I'm using my fuchsia yarn here with your crochet hook. Just stick it in that first half double crochet from your bind off. pull through and then you're gonna put your hook here pull through and then you're gonna chain three and then you're gonna do two more double crochets in that same spot so one two Sorry, I'm making coffee in the background if that's like really loud and obnoxious. And now in the next half double crochet space, you're gonna do three double crochets. So in the first spot, the chain three counts as a double crochet. So basically all you're doing is placing three double crochets in every single half double crochet of your bind off. And that creates like a really cute ruffle effect. So just keep adding three double crochets in each half double crochet of your bind off and I will meet you back. And this is just what it looks like after just a few. So you got this. So I just finished my ribbing and now I'm gonna grab a contrast color. I'm using this red yarn um, that I dyed and you're just going to attach it to that first double crochet next to the chain three and then pull through, chain one. And then the last step is to just do a half double crochet in each of these double crochets. And it's just gonna create a nice little line of contrast to the leg warmers. I just thought this was cute. Obviously, like this is optional. Everything is optional. Like just, this can be a rough guide for you, but this is just how I made these specific leg warmers and I think it's super cute. So just do a half double crochet in each double crochet and I will meet you back when I'm finished. Just finished the contrast stitching and that's literally all you're gonna do for the ruffles. So just do that on both um, the top and bottom of both panels. And then your last step is to just weave in your ends and then you're done. And I'll show you what it looks like on in just a second. And this is what we made. Um, the thigh highs came out so cute actually. Literally, I love making a sketch and then seeing it come to life like completely. Like that's just so satisfying. But I just think these are so darling and perfect and they match my mesh mini dress perfectly, which there is a video for that and I'll link it. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this inspired you to make something today or to make these. If you make them, tag me on Instagram. It's at boobiezoo. 
I would love to see that. It makes me so happy to see you guys say that you love my tutorials and that you're making them. It just fills me with so much joy and it really keeps me going making these videos. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching. Please subscribe because once again, it keeps me motivated to make these videos and I really want to make more things for you guys and show you how to make more things. So I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.